So last night on stream, I managed to finish my final save for FM22, which was the network game, the El Clasico network game between myself and Murph FM. So I now have started to finally turn my attention onto FM23. I've kind of had these saves locked and loaded in my head for a long period of time, but I thought I'd put a video out just to tell you guys what is expected or what is coming really on the channel over the FM23 cycle. There is going to be a lot of content coming guys so please do make sure you are liked uh, liking this video and subscribing down below uh, so that you can keep up to date with all the videos that we're going to be putting out once that beta drops whenever that is nobody knows when the beta is going to drop but it's going to drop and we're going to kick things off with our beta save now for me the beta is all about trying the game getting used to things and ultimately having fun and trying to break things effectively <laughs> trying to find some new stuff that's going on whether there's a new role there's a role that's overpowered like the cm on attack in fm22 can we try and find that using one of the better teams in the game so my beta save the final announcement is here it's not going to be a surprise to many we are going to be the manager of manchester city so for me manchester city was an absolute no-brainer obviously they are one of the licensed teams in fm23 this year we don't have to go about adding in name fixes badges logos all of that faces all of that stuff we don't need to do it with manchester city so as soon as that beta drops i will be live on youtube with that series it will be a stream only series but we will be making uh, little bite-sized of like vods effectively uh, shortened down highlight versions of the streams which will go on another channel which i will be launching very very soon we've been working behind the scenes to get some stuff ready for that uh, but as soon as fm23 drops that vod channel will be live with the highlight versions of this now i know what you guys are thinking about manchester city manchester city is going to be too easy uh, and potentially it might be you know it, it may be too easy but that's kind of what the beta is all about for me but once the main version of the game comes out we will be taking our talents instead of Red Star. Obviously, we rebuilt Red Star and FM22. I wanted a little bit of a different challenge. We are taking our talents to France and to Paris more specifically because we are going to go and manage Versailles. So talking about Versailles, they are a new team in FM23 and I'm looking forward to using them to be perfectly honest. They have been promoted last season after a, a very good year and they've actually started the French uh, Championship very, very well. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to taking control of them. They're a small team based on the outskirts of Paris. They are based in, an, in a town called Versailles. Obviously, some people will know where that is. Some people won't know where that is. But what I will say about them is Versailles used to be the home of the French monarchy. So there will be a sort of royal theme running through uh, this save and hopefully we can take them all the way to the top of the French tiers at topple PSG. That's kind of the first goal and then the, the following goals beyond that is to take them to a Champions League. Now obviously we will be trying to improve the French League as we go. Obviously it is the fifth highest in terms of reputation uh, behind all the other ones. So we will be trying to improve the reputation of that French League. Also bringing another team to the table to, to rival teams like Marseille, Lyon. Monaco and of course PSG there are multiple teams in that uh, championship division who are based in Paris so first and foremost we have to battle against some of those uh, Paris 13 Atletico being one of them to finally be the best team in Paris in that division and then we have to climb up and up and up until we get to league uh, and then we take on the big boys of PSG it's going to be a really really good save guys I'm looking forward to it a one club save and hopefully we managed to get our way. It took us 11 years to win the Champions League with Red Star this year, and I'm hoping it takes us a little bit loss, a little bit less time coming out of France. And the final save that I'll be participating in during the FM23 game cycle, we are bringing the network game back ladies and gentlemen so uh those of you who have been watching the real madrid and barcelona one with murph fm thank you very much i really enjoyed the say we were absolutely dominant in that final season with madrid we went unbeaten in the league season we won the spanish super cup we won the champions league beating murph in the final and to be perfectly honest i've loved every minute of it being on stream with murph is someone who i get on with really really well we speak every day i pretty much say um so bringing that back with him for next season now we took a long time trying to decide which 
which teams we were going to be. We kind of wanted to be top tier teams because the, the main saves that we're doing, we're not going to be using these like elite level players effectively, uh, or, or by the time we get there, all the real players would have gone. So we are going to be trying to find the right partnership of two clubs again. Now, obviously we did El Clasico for FM22 and we had some ideas. We thought maybe North London Derby. We thought maybe Glasgow Derby doing Rangers and Celtic and stuff like that. But ultimately we've settled on this we are talking about the capital derby in italy it is lazio versus roma now murph was given the selection as to which team he wanted to be he picked roma reunited with tammy from maybe his fm22 save uh, with barcelona and i get reunited with chiro immobile now everybody knows how good chiro immobile is in fm22 i'm praying that him sms luis alberto can continue that into fm23 as we have our network game so guys that is our three saves we're using manchester city in the beta versailles will be my main save once i get back from holiday and then we will be restarting the network game with murph fm roma versus Lazio. Let me know down in the comment section if you've decided on the team for your beta or your main save and we are weeks away from FM23 coming out fully guys. I am super excited. I hope you guys are as well and if you want to check out more stuff on FM23 check out the video that's going to be popping up here. It's me live reacting to the headline features in this year's upcoming game.